Hello and welcome to HMS Tech Talks. Uh, today we're going to have a look at an uh, interesting case study involving 5G communication. And it's a very interesting application actually. It has to do with uh, something as science fiction as robotic dogs patrolling an airport in Denmark. Som det er nu, der kører vi hegnet rundt hele vejen, og der er 8 km hegn. Og vi skal kigge, om der er, om der er nogen, der har klippet hegnet op, eller om der har været undergravninger for dyr, og der har været herværk, eller nogen, der har forseret det. Men vi kan jo selvfølgelig ikke køre særligt hurtigt, for så kan man ikke se hegnet ordentligt, hvis du kører for hurtigt. Hver dag bliver der inspiceret hegn rundt om infrastruktur, Verden over. Det er på grund af lovkrav om, at man skal sikre sig, at hegnet er intakt. Vi har derfor undersøgt sammen med Lawrence Technology, om man kan automatisere den her tidskrævende proces. Ved at lade en robot gå langs hegnet og kontinuerligt optage billeder og analysere billederne, så kan vi så få et indblik i, om hegnet skulle være defekt. Til at analysere billederne, der anvender vi kunstig intelligens og et regelsæt, vi har sat op for, hvordan pigtråden ser ud, hvis den er intakt. I projektet her har vi anvendt vores terrængående spotrobot, og vi har i samme forbindelse samarbejdet med TTC for at se, om vi kan udvide robotens rækkevidde over 5G-netværket. Lige nu står vi oppe i kontoltårnet, hvor vi kan se hele vejen rundt. Så er der forbindelse, så går vi første gang på 5G. Grundlig kan se, der, der er 5G tre ting. Det er højere hastighed, det er højere pålidelighed, og lidt kortere latency eller kortere svartider. Det giver os nogle muligheder. Den højere hastighed gør, at vi kan overføre data eller billeddata i højere kvalitet, så vi har noget bedre information at arbejde med og analysere. Så det er ikke længere sådan, at vi er afhængige af, at der er måske et, et SD-kort på en robot, og så skal robotten færdiggøre, hvad den er i gang med at komme tilbage igen til os. Vi tager kort ud, vi aflyser data, vi behandler data. Nej, men nu kan vi få data i realtid, så vi kan også reagere med det samme. Hvis vi nu går og leger med et hegn som det her, så får vi data hjem og kan se, at der, der er en fejl på hegnet, så kan vi gå ud og gøre noget ved det her nu. All right. After seeing this, we are of course very interested to know about the technology behind this and how how that works. And with me to discuss that today, we have uh, Niklas Backlund from Ericsson and Jens Jakobsson from uh, HMS. So Jens, if we talk about this from um, from the device side, what is it that's actually going on 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 the top of the dog here? Yeah. So actually, what we have on top of the dog is this prototype of a 5G device. So you see, this is a quite small device. It has uh, IP65 protection, so it, it means that it's waterproof. We have an opening here for the SIM card, and then here connect power, and you have Ethernet. And then, of course, inside it has the 5G radio module, it has built-in antennas, it also has a uh, built-in uh, real-time operating system. So we have this type of device on top of the dog, it connects to the dog, of course, it connects to the 5G network, and then we have the same device in the control tower. And then we use our real-time operating system to build a, a secure tunnel between the dog and the control tower, so that we can control the dog in in real time. Niklas, can you tell us a little bit, bit about this from the network side? Uh, why was 5G important in, in the spot case? Yeah, I think this connected four-legged spot robot is a great example of uh, an innovative way that we can use 5G. Um, and it also demonstrates in a good way what 5G brings, uh, I would say. So first we have coverage. We are no longer restricted by, by Wi-Fi and, uh, and the limited uh, coverage we would get out of Wi-Fi. So for example, here in Denmark, we have built a nationwide 5G network. Now the spot could actually, it could virtually go anywhere in Denmark as, it's, uh, as it is today. Secondly, uh, 5G also makes it possible to create, you could say, private networks on the public network. So there's no there's no need to build a you know a dedicated network to actually provide dedicated services in that sense. Um, the the third uh, characteristic that you would find from 5G is what we normally talk about, and that's the speed and latency. Uh, and in this case, what you see is that we can we can send huge amount of data from uh, from robots back to a back office where we process the data. This unlocks a lot of, of, uh, of new usage areas as well. I mean, in essence, we don't have to put a lot of processing capacity on the device itself, but we can do a lot of, uh, a lot with the data in the back office. Could you tell us a little bit about what, what other applications you, you see, uh, similar applications regarding 5G? Uh, yeah, so, so if we take the, um, 
Uh, the example of a parameter, parameter fence uh, monitoring, it's a very good example, but I, I think we can stretch that uh, a bit beyond that as well. You could think about the dog now, uh, for example, being used in, uh, in emergency services type uh, uh, areas and, and the, the, the robot dog could actually go into an area where we wouldn't like to send in humans uh, and by that actually saving lives. So I, I think we can see many innovative cases where this robot could could go beyond by connecting it to 5G. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much for joining you guys.